My name is Wing Commander Beige, and I'm the Contingent Commander of Catrum School Combined Cadet Force, or CCF for short. The CCF at Catrum is one of the largest and busiest co-curricular activities within the school. We are a voluntary, military-based youth organisation comprising of an army section and a Royal Air Force section. We parade once a week and we run a number of activities at weekends and outside of term time. Now, being a cadet is all about having fun. It's about learning new skills, trying new challenges, and above all, making new friends. We run a mixture of military and non-military activities, and the video and information pack will go into a lot more detail. But to give you a flavor, these include fill craft, skill at arms, marksmanship shooting, flying and gliding, climbing and caving, kayaking and mountain biking, to name but a few. I hope that you find the information in the video interesting and that you will come and join us at one of our taster sessions that we will be running in September. I very much look forward to meeting you in the near future. Thank you. The CCF is one of the great opportunities that Catrum School offers to pupils in Year 9 and above. Uh, and I would really urge as many of you as possible to, to give it a go and to get involved. Uh, not only will you have a great time and have great fun and make great friends, uh, you will also develop those skills that we know are going to be so important for you in later life around teamwork, collaboration, innovation, problem solving, learning from your mistakes. So please do sign up and give it a go. Hi everyone, I'm Captain Owen and I'm the officer commanding the Army Section. Look, I'm going to let the cadets speak about the Army Section for the most part, but just a few things I'd like to add. Firstly, what we're not. It's really important to emphasise that we're not a recruitment arm for the armed forces at all. You really don't have to be the next Rambo or aspiring Top Gun to join us. And while some of our cadets do go on to careers in the Royal Navy, the Army or the Royal Air Force, that's not our primary aim. So, reasons to join the Corps and the Army section. Well, the first are the physical experiences, which are unparalleled. There's no other club or society that allows you to fire a rifle live and blank to immerse yourself in a realistic two or three day battle exercise, to charge over military obstacle courses, to wade up a river in the pouring rain and leap off a waterfall at the end, to jump out of a plane solo at three and a half thousand feet. These experiences are not only wonderfully enjoyable, but are also unique to the CCF. The second reason to join the Corps are the friends you'll make. I'm still close friends with several people with whom I was a cadet at Catrum back in the early 18th century. Because of the intensity of what we do and the way we train, you forge a different type of friendship. When you shared a two-man shelter with someone, when they've had the other end of a rope holding you up a cliff face in their hands, when you've spent nine days on summer camp with someone, you really are building a new type of relationship. One born out of reliance on one another, laughter through adversity, and shared experiences. The third reason to join Corps is for the skills and values you'll absorb with us. You won't work in a team as close as you will do as a cadet, living together for up to nine days at a time. You won't get the chance anywhere else at Catrum or outside to lead as a sixth former or a fifth year in the way that we ask our senior cadets to lead their juniors, to look after them, almost to be an extra member of staff for us. I promise you, nothing is quite like it. So I hope you too will consider joining the family that is the core, and I hope to see lots of you come September. Hi, I'm Corporal Tracy in the Lower Sixth, otherwise known as Charlotte. I joined in third year and I'm still here. Believe me, I'm just as surprised as you are. Some of my personal highlights have been the camps, particularly summer camp, due to the adventure training opportunities you have there. You get to do activities such as coast steering and gorge walking that you wouldn't get the opportunity to do otherwise. Going on camp definitely isn't a five star hotel and it is challenging, but that's what makes it so enjoyable and rewarding. Working as a team is a really important part of the ethos of the core and it really helps to build friendships across year groups, which is a real benefit because that's not always easy to do in school. As you progress through the Corps, more opportunities open up, such as leadership training in fifth year, delivering lessons on Wednesdays and supervising younger cadets on camps. 
Not only does this build confidence and leadership skills, but it was also really nice in October to watch the new recruits experience their first taste of camp life and begin their journeys as cadets. This allowed us to reminisce and realise how far we've come. A lot of the training we do is student-led and not led by the staff, so it's not surprising how many cadets hold big appointments in sick form, such as head of house or prefect. I absolutely love it and I can't recommend it highly enough and I would love to see you all join the cadet family in September. For me, the best thing about being involved in the CCF is the opportunity to spend a lot of time outside in the great outdoors. For example, in your first year as a cadet, you start with the Self-Reliance Expedition, which is a two-day expedition with your friends on the North Downs, which tests your teamwork and navigation skills, so obviously we get lost. The expeditions are my favourite memories of my time as a cadet so far. A couple of years ago on summer camp, we did a two-day sea kayaking expedition around the Cornish coast, paddling around the rock and into the open sea, and camping overnight on the way. And last year, we had a two-day expedition on the Brecon Beacon, where we climbed up and across mountains with our friends. As a cadet, literally, the sky is the limit, and I'm really looking forward to parachuting solo from 3,500 feet with the core next year. I would really recommend signing up to CCS if you are able to have experiences that are not found anywhere else at school. I've been a member of the Corps for four years now and I've loved every second of it. But the best part by far for me is being on exercise. So it consists of two days in the field, living off army rations, which after a few days of running around can taste really good, um, firing blank rounds. A great memory for me was last year's exercise summer lightning where I was in many realistic battle scenarios with my friends, carrying my own gun, ammunition and rations. It was a great time. We also got the chance to learn urban operations, like clearing buildings, using dummy grenades and even dealing with hostages. A particularly good memory of mine is during summer camp 2018, when we set an ambush during a lightning storm and spent time fighting through uh, an old disused Napoleonic fort. Um, this was the first time that we learned how to fight indoors fighting through tunnels underneath the fort and in corridors and passageways throughout it. It was also the first time that I'd led a section and it has taught me a lot about leadership that I still use today whether I'm teaching lessons or um, in the field on exercise. Hello, my name is Flight Lieutenant Aaron Barker and I'm the Officer Commanding the RAF Section. The RAF Section runs various activities throughout the year to complement a comprehensive syllabus consisting of military aviation knowledge, principles of flight, adventurous training and general military knowledge. This includes flying days at RAF Benson twice a term, gliding days and a week-long summer camp at an active RAF station. Cadets who join the RAF section also have the opportunity to go on core wide activities which include flying and gliding scholarships, overseas adventurous training camps and leadership training camps. Hi guys, uh, I'm Corporal Parr and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the RAF section. We get some wonderful opportunities to interact with planes and the people that maintain and fly them. So one of the great opportunities that we get is that we go air experience flying nearly every half term and you'll get taken up in a, a, a plane by a qualified uh, RAF pilot. At the age of 13, being able to control the plane, doing barrel rolls and loops, stuff that you'd never be able to do anywhere else. And the more times you go, you might move on to more advanced stuff like aerobatics. So I think the third time I went, I went up and I was doing barrel rolls and I was doing loops and stall turns. So that's a lot of fun. We also offer cadets the opportunity to go gliding and they're lots of fun when you get to go up in an unpowered aircraft and uh, show your skill of gliding it back down to the ground. Many of my uh, best memories from uh, the Corps have been on these camps. Uh, one time in RF Lossiemouth, which is in Scotland, I got to visit and sit inside a £75 million uh, Typhoon fighter jet. So that was a, fond, a very fond memory. Uh, another time, I think my first year in the, in the Corps, uh, we stayed at RF Odium and there we uh, all got to go in a Chinook helicopter and we got to um, fly up the River Thames with the city all around us, uh, with the back door open and us looking out. So that was, that's probably one of the best things I've done. Hi, I'm Sergeant Major Carter, also known as Toby. 
and I'm head of the army section. For me, one of the main things from being in the CCF is the pride you feel for representing the military family, in particular such a hard-working and successful corps as Caterham's. This year, I led the parade on, on my memory Sunday, one of the biggest days in the military calendar. It was an incredible honour to command such an amazing corps, and it's something I've aspired to do since third year. As in so many other ways, it's amazing to reflect on how far I've come since then. The CCF gives you so many opportunities, from live firing a rifle on a range to jumping off 20 feet cliffs. It sounds like a cliche, but the CCF really does have it all. I cannot recommend it enough. All it's done for me, giving me teamwork and leadership skills, which I can take to university and further on into my career in the future. Teamwork, living, training, laughing with other cadets from all age groups. That's key to cadet life. For example, the annual summer camp, where you share together with dozens of other cadets from all different age groups for the thrill of canyoning, kayaking, sleep deprived hardship on two day battle exercises whilst laughing through it all. This sense of camaraderie is what I've always loved about the CCF and is why I recommend it above anything to anyone with a sense of enjoyment, adventure, service and fun. As you've just heard, there are countless incredible opportunities for you to be a part of. Now the core and what it gives is amazing. When we put our uniform on, it gives us pride. It makes me stand tall and be proud. But it's because we meet people like Johnson Bahari VC, who saved lives, multiple lives, whilst having shrapnel in his brain. And to be a part of the military, just like those people are, is a privilege and an honor. Now all of the senior NCOs can agree that it's the doors the CCF opens that is so incredible. For example, it allowed me to develop my leadership right from third and fourth year. I then went on a highly recognized week-long leadership course for free because I'm part of the CCF. And the skills I learned from that then gave me the privilege to be head of core for a year. So one, you get incredible opportunities and experiences, and two, those opportunities lead to more opportunities. And that's why the CCF is so amazing and has been my personal highlight of all my five years at Ketram School.